Hey there, David from Figma here. In this video, we're going to explore Figma Design's drawing tools, focusing on brushes and texture features. We'll look at different brush types and have plenty of time to try them out. We'll also check out dynamic strokes that help give your designs a hand-drawn look and feel. Then we'll go over to texture features that can change how your illustrations appear entirely. We'll wrap things up by creating a custom logo design that you could add to a website or even use for print. Click on the community file linked in the video description to get your own copy of these activities and follow along. Let's go. Once in the design file, head to the page titled Drawing Tools Practice and let's do activity one, part one. Make sure that you are toggled off of design mode and now in draw mode. You'll see that we have some brushes and tools here. I'm gonna select the brush and let's go ahead and start drawing brushes in the top left. Change the brush type by selecting the stroke here and let's change this one to Blockbuster. I can even change the width of that brush and toggle brushes here. Let's select over here and click on Spaghetti Western. Let's change this to in the 20s and I can go ahead and draw a little squiggly. Once I've drawn a brush stroke, I can go into the brush stroke by selecting it and changing things like the weight of the brush stroke or even the brush stroke type right in here. Something else I can do is draw a brush stroke, hit escape, double click into the brush stroke to now see the vector points that I drew. I can select the lasso and select vector points that I don't want in here anymore. Hold down shift, hit delete to clean things up a bit. Hit escape a couple times to get off of that vector edit mode and keep playing with different brush strokes in this section. In the second part, let's go ahead and add some color to this very simple looking vase. Let's change the brush rate to 20 and let's go to new wave. And I'm just gonna grab some circles and make a little flower here. Let's change this next color to blue, grab a different stroke, make a little flower there, grab a different stroke, change the color to be somewhat of a pink, make this weight a little bit bigger, draw a nice little circle there. And lastly, let's go to a yellow, change the brush stroke ever so slightly, and let's add some texture brush strokes there. When in my selection tool, I can left click and drag over drawn brush strokes, and I can change those colors, and let's make this a nice looking green right there. I can even select brush strokes and move them to back by hitting my left brackets, reorganizing my brush strokes to create a design that I truly like. In this section, we're going to change shapes strokes to be dynamic or brush strokes. In the circle, go ahead and add a stroke in the design panel, change the weight and thicken it up a bit, click the drop down and let's make this a dynamic stroke. Scroll down to change the frequency, wiggle, and even smoothness of this shape stroke. Then left click and select over all of these circles, toggle the settings from stroke to dynamic stroke and play around with those frequency settings as well as the wiggle and smoothness. On this shape, select the drop down and go to brush stroke. I'm gonna select the brush and let's change this to be new wave. I can also go back into the shape and edit how that looks or even rotate and expand the shape to edit the design further. Select all of these strokes, go down to stroke options, change to brush stroke, play around with weight, play around with brush type, and have some fun there. In this activity, I'm gonna go ahead and zoom in so I can see things a little bit better. Select the vector drawing of the dog and change the stroke to be dynamic. Play around with the frequency and the wiggle to make it look a little more hand-drawn. Next, select the hat, click on fill, select pattern, click on select source, and click on this red vector line. Let's create the spacing to be a little bit tighter. Let's create the scale to be a little bit smaller. Exit out, go back to the original vector line, Change this stroke to be dynamic, and you can see now that it has a nice little wiggle to it. Zoom back out, select the entire drawing, use the keyboard shortcut Control D, and move this over. Hit Control D again, and make some edits that change how all of these illustrations look, maybe by moving and playing with frequencies, to make three different illustrations of the same dog kick flipping. You can even change the stroke to be a brush and not just a dynamic stroke. In activity four, I'm gonna go ahead and zoom in and create a custom brush. I'm going to use the text selected, which I encourage you to use Skate Club or type in your own set of words here. Then right click the text to flatten. When the text is flattened, you can right click again and create a stretch brush. You'll see that the stretch brush was created. Go to your brush settings, go down to your new brush down at the bottom. You might have to scroll down a bit. Let's change this to black. And you can see now that I can create some really cool things with this custom brush. Like all brush strokes, when using your selection tool, you can change the settings such as the weight, 
of the stroke, how the stroke is sized, and even double click in to change the vector path itself. Play around and draw a lot with your new custom brush. In the space to the right, go ahead and grab your custom brush and draw an original illustration using that new brush. Make it fun, make it yours. In this next activity, we're gonna play with fills and effects. Select the circle on the left, go to the design panel, and change the fill to be a gradient. Change the color on the left to be somewhat of a purple, and the color on the right to be kind of this aqua green. Bring the colors very close to each other in the center of the shape. Scroll down to effects and change it to texture. Scale down the size, bump up the radius, and clip to shape to make something entirely different. I can further play around with the settings in the texture effects sliders, click on the fill, and even change where those progress within the shape itself. If I want to get fancy, I could add that custom stroke again, change the weight, and make a cool logo for my skate club. Play around with all the texture features and have fun making something new. For this next one, I'm going to zoom in, select the shape, go to fill, select gradient, and toggle to radial. Change the color on the left to be a bright pink, and the color on the right to be a deep purple. Move this panel over, drag this color up here, and bring this up a bit too. Let's scroll down to effects, toggle on texture, let's change this to be a little bit less than one, and let's bump this up a bit, just make it a little grainy. Let's add another effect called layer blur. Toggle the layer blur to be progressive. Let's change this end to be a little bit larger than 10. I can move this around, blur it out even more, add an epic brush stroke with the width of 20, make this into a pretty cool looking planet. For activity six, let's zoom on in and work with using the shape builder tool. To engage the shape builder tool, left click and drag over this first set of circles. Hit the enter key on your keyboard and hover over shape builder. While shape builder is selected, select the yellow portion, hit enter, and then hit escape. Pull the yellow part away and you see that you have made a moon. Select the shape here and this one here to delete. Select this next set of shapes, hit enter on your keyboard, choose the shape builder tool, and select just the yellow part. Hit enter or return, hit escape, and let's move that over here. Left click and drag these to delete, and let's bring this to the center. Scroll over to the right, and let's do that using a different technique. Left click and drag over both shapes on the left, hit return or enter on your keyboard, select the shape builder tool, and now hold option. This is the removal tool in the shape builder. Hit enter or return, left click and drag over these shapes, select enter, select shape builder, while that is selected, hold down option and remove shapes from the design that you do not need anymore. Hit return or enter, and let's move this over here and bring our design over to the center of our screen. And congratulations, you've just done six activities to help improve your drawing and illustration techniques using textures, brushes, and so much more. Now head over to the custom logo design page to make something pretty cool. Here we're going to make a custom logo using some of the techniques we learned on the previous page. Feel free to check out the examples on the left, and let's scroll over to the frame on the right to design our very own. Select the Danfo font, right click, and flatten. Once flattened, right click again, and create a stretch brush. Move over to this ellipse, change the ratio all the way to 100%, add a stroke, and make sure it's a brush. Make this a little bit thicker, and change that brush now to the most recent brush stroke that you made. This should say Skate Club. I can change the weight, stretch that out a bit, even rotate this slightly. Select the stroke color, let's change it to be this right here. Drag this to the very center and click off. We're gonna make a scalloped edge, so bring this shape down below. Click on radial repeat in the design panel. Hold shift and bump this over just a little bit so it's centered. Click into repeat and let's change how much that repeats right here. I can also hold down shift option to tuck that in a bit if I wanna make it a little tighter. Select the circle, zoom on in, and let's add an effect of texture. Let's make it a little bit fuzzier, changing the radius and some other things here, just kind of roughening it up a bit. That's looking pretty good. And now let's do the same to the radial repeat. Go down to effects, add texture, bring this down a bit, and let's change the radius slightly. Zoom on out, left click and drag over everything, hit Control D, bring a design to the left, left click and drag over this again, hit Control D, and bring a design to the right. From here, play around with different techniques, to slightly change these logos, such as colors, stroke properties, and even double clicking into the radial repeat to change how that shape looks and behaves with the rest of the design. 
definitely play around here, add your own custom brush stroke, change the designs around, and have so much fun using everything you've learned to create and make a custom logo. Also take some time to go to the inspiration page and check out some amazing things the designers have made using the Figma drawing techniques that we learned through this video and community file activity. And there's endless possibilities with making really cool illustrations and designs using these features in Figma. Enjoy, happy designing.